Uh, I'm worried. It's going to take a toll on our people. We all love you to the moon and back, and we will never stop looking for you. There's a little girl missing. And if it was mine, I'd want the world looking for her. To sustain our hope for Jamie's safe return. For 88 days, you called in tips. Two hours later that she was found, I just, I just cannot believe this. It's amazing the will of that 13-year-old girl to survive and escape. Today we can finally say, Jamie Kloss is home. Thank you for joining us tonight. It is the best case scenario for a devastating story that has captured the state of Wisconsin and the entire country. After vanishing nearly three months ago, 13-year-old Jamie Kloss is back home tonight. Their family shared a photo tonight showing Jamie as she's reunited with her Aunt Jennifer as well as her dog, Molly. All day, we've been bringing you team coverage. Amanda Quintana and Adam Duxter continue it for us tonight. Let's start with Amanda Quintana joining us live in studio. Amanda? Yes, we're learning more about the investigation and some of the pieces being put together, but there are still a lot of unanswered questions about why Jamie was a target and how she got the strength to get away. She's talking and um, she communicated with our, our team up there and she was released from the hospital. Jamie is the hero in this case. There's no question about it. 13-year-old Jamie Kloss now reunited with her aunt and the rest of her family. This man, 21-year-old Jake Patterson, arrested for her kidnapping and the murder of her parents. But the investigation into what happened to her and why is far from over. At this time, nothing in this case shows the suspect knew anyone at the Kloss home or at any time had contact with anyone in the Kloss family. The suspect had specific intentions to kidnap Jamie and went to great lengths to prepare to take her. Patterson even went so far as to shave his head so he wouldn't leave behind DNA when he kidnapped her. Barron County Sheriff Chris Fitzgerald says multiple guns were found in the Gordon home where Jamie escaped from Patterson on Thursday. One shotgun similar to the one used at the Kloss home back in October to kill Jamie's parents, James and Denise. I know all of you are searching for the answer of why any of this happened. Believe me, so are we. We don't know how Jamie was being restrained, what condition the rural home was in, or where Patterson went that gave her the opportunity to escape. But he was not home when Jamie managed to get away. Well, I don't know how she escaped at this time. We believe that the suspect was out looking for her when law enforcement made contact with him. The only connection between Patterson and the Kloss family being made right now is more than three years old. Patterson worked at the Jenny O plant where James and Denise worked for less than two days. Still, authorities don't believe they knew each other. We don't have any information that he had made any contact with anyone in the family at any time. Law enforcement has been trying to give Jamie some space, but they will need to interview her and get more information to present in court when Patterson has his first appearance on Monday at 3.30. Amanda Quintana in studio tonight. Amanda, thank you.